Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to New Beginnings episode number 8. You'll see in the team as it is there of course Origi in it now. Canopley Anchor, first owner Origi, cost me 74k. I've used him in some squad battle games so far. Uh, now we're going to be taking him online, testing him out in the divisions. No, I've already used him online. Used him in the daily knockout, didn't I? My apologies. So, this is the continuation of that with some Divisions gameplay. Heading on in to the mighty Division 8. Yeah, it's still not the hardest difficulty. But what I can say is, using the Force 9, I have drastically changed my style of play. Previously, previously on New Beginnings completely forgot what we called the series then previously uh, yeah 4 one 2 and 2 I, I, it kind of led me into playing a spammy game that I don't really enjoy it's just hammering the ball forwards and trying to get 1-2's and pull a defender out of place it's really boring and monotonous and tedious and by the way the teams I'm coming up against in Division 8 are a lot better like these are some nice teams some nice players that's more expensive than my team it's uh Probably the first division where I've been on the receiving end of having a worse team. I did have a very cheap team start, but it was on par, if not better, than most people's. As we get through here, look at Cater there. That's why you don't use Koscielny. He's getting pushed off by a man with 50 strength. It's outrageous. However, I then... Uh, don't ask me what I'm doing. This was a really boring game. Uh, my opponent was on either counter-attack or defensive and set back the entire game and then got a little bit lucky at the end and it was just really really boring and monotonous and tedious that's apparently the catchphrase of the episode monotonous boring and tedious and we finished that one all disappointing terrible to have drawn a game there but uh, some SBCs were released as a result of EA's Path to Glory daily thing and they've just been rubbish so far but they've been getting gradually better so hopefully by Thursday we'll have like a mega pack or something or a prime gold players pack. You know, just something we're good. We got Douglas Costa out of there. I thought he might be worth a little something something. I was wrong. And of course the gold upgrade pluses came. I thought I'd do a couple. I may do a, quite a few more. I just like the chance even though I never get anything. I'm waiting for marquee matchups because I've got a lot of bronze players in the club. So I'm going to wait and see what happens with marquee matchups, and then after that I'm going to rinse all those players through into silvers, and then the silvers into golds, and we'll do a couple of these in the hope of packing a big boy. We didn't get a big boy in any, in the two I did so far. They were both dreadful. In fact, I can't even remember what I got, but uh, yeah, that's it. Bruma, terrible, like trash. Bruma was the best player. Consider putting him in the team, because he does fit, but Konoplyanka is far superior on shooting and passing. So, that edges him. When we come up here, just, yeah, this guy is just using players he's got out of packs, I'm guessing. But we're doing the work again. Bellarabi, terrible player. Really don't like him. His finishing is so bad. He's 82 rated, but is absolutely tragic. And then this was a weird one. At this point, my opponent decided to quit. Apparently that header was far too much for him to take. At 1-0 down, he thought, no, this header is it. I can't come back after he's just blazed that header over. There is not a chance I will ever make a return. To be fair, he probably wouldn't have. He wasn't the best player. But that's besides the point. I just didn't understand it. Then we came up against this guy, and this guy was just the, the typical 4-3-2-1 player. Uh, couldn't really defend. Any time he got the ball, RBA straight up the pitch. RBA straight up the pitch. And it's just... Yeah. So boring to play against. Like, it's easy. He couldn't defend to save his life. Origi there just walking through and tucking that away. But I did give up a stupid couple of goals to him from him just spamming it long. But then Jonathan Tarr, like, don't understand that. That's not a hard pass. And he goes for the sweat. And he manages to get it and actually scores with Marquinhos. He kept Marquinhos at striker for a little bit. And I'm guessing he forgot and eventually brought him off. But Origi there, heel to heel, round the defender. Nice and easy, 2-1. And then we win it back with Cater, who plays it into Hector. Hector's a lovely little cheap CDM for 650 coins, by the way. 
and Origi is there to slot it home. He is the cheap cliver. I am in love with this card. This card has, uh, yeah, it's just made me consider a lot of different things with the team going forwards. Because we are going to have some decisions to make at the end of the episode. I do think I'm going to play the weekend league. Probably not all 40, though. I'll go for maybe gold free and see what I can get, to be honest. Uh, I'm probably not going to play more than sort of 20, 25 games. I just don't want to, don't really want to. I, it's just too much FIFA to play in a weekend. I am on the side of it needs changing and needs uh, putting into a week long event, which seems to be the big debate in FIFA at the moment. Should Foot Champions change to a week long uh, event or should it remain as the weekend? I definitely fall on the side of it should change to a week-long event. I don't understand people that argue that it shouldn't be. Like, it's just if, change it from you don't need forty and zero, you need points or whatever, or however any other ranked game does it. Like, it would just be so much simpler, and take out the qualification as well, so everyone has a chance to play. Why not? What's the problem with letting everyone play? I don't understand it. I, from EA's point of view, I just don't get it at all. It would be absolutely fine if it was a week long and you didn't have to qualify or you had to qualify and then you were just qualified for that week or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the finer details, but it seems to me like it would be a much better system. Anyway, as I was saying, weekend league, I'm probably going to give it a go. I'll probably get wound up and I'll probably stop after 10 games, something like that. Uh, I'm joking. I will try and do my best for the series um, to bring you guys the best packs I can within reason. I'm... Pfft, if I can get 40 games done, I'd be amazed. I've never done that on any FIFA. Like on on 17, my aim was always gold free, and it would take me about 20, 21, 22 games to get those 18 wins. Hopefully, I can do something similar this time round. Although I'm not sure because my team is garbage, and I'm, it's probably not going to be improved that much before the weekend league because I've not got any opportunities to earn coins unless marquee matchups come along and I pack something big. That is possibly the only way it's going to happen. But yeah, we'll do our best and hopefully I'll uh, get a few wins and get a couple of packs for the series. This game, uh, yeah, this game, not sure what happened here. Rigi's just a monster, he just pushes people out of the way, brilliant. And then my opponent here disconnected, I do believe, at 2 1. Like, look at these defenders, what's going on here? <laughs> they're just walking into the box I couldn't move them or anything and I was like what the fuck this guy's going to score I've got four players back he's going to counter but it just disconnected at that point I don't really understand what happened there I'm guessing he quit and it just took a little while for the game to register that he did but yeah fun 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 came up against this guy and this guy swapped to a 4 one 2 2 and I was really disappointed in all honesty that I drew to this guy I went 2-0 up and he was just one of those hammer it forwards kind of people and my defending just wasn't great, to be honest. I I don't know. I should be beating this guy. I know I should. He, he wasn't great. He was he was like a 2010 player in Division... Is this 8 with that team? I think this is Division 8. Yeah. Uh, I want to say it might be Division 7. Don't know. But yeah, like there, that's a terrible mistake by me. I pressed the RB to try and pull his player for some reason, and he lunged and tackled for it, whereas if I just kept running, I would have intercepted it. And then, you know, the heat-seeking missile, when your opponent hits the post, falls back to him in 2-2. Crap goals. Two crap goals that could have been easily avoided, and I felt like I deserved more out of that game than him, but alas, it is FIFA, and you don't always get what you deserve. As we go into our final game here... Fella with a standard BPL team, a lot of really cheap players. Surprised how cheap some of these players are now as well. I packed Sterling the other day and I was like, oh sweet, that's got to be like 10k. No, it's like 2k. <laughs> the market crash is so dreadful. Well, it's good if you... Well, it's not even good for me because I, I haven't got any coins so I can't take advantage of it. But we're going we're gonna to address this come the end of the episode as we go 2 new up there. With Origi and then Origi blasting it through for my opponent. We're going to do a little bit of skill with Konoplyanka and we're going to get away from him and go for the cutback into Kato, who puts it away at a ridiculous angle. And 3 0 was enough for that opponent. But now, with that rage quit giving us the division title and five. How many coins do we get? 4.5k. 4.5 thousand coins. 
we have some decisions to make because we are sat on uh, just under 20,000 coins so this is where I want some advice from you lovely lovely people what do we do with the team I'm gonna definitely get rid of Schmelzer and put Wendell in do I then spend the rest of the coins buying Bundesliga players uh, the likes of Gretzka or um, maybe a Socrates I'm not sure if I could afford him or uh, the Scream Boateng that's a player I want to get and try him at centre mid definitely want to do that I kind of want to avoid Gretzka because I've used him so much on my old PC account that I thought there's no point maybe Julian Brandt or Pizchek for right back but I look at Pizchek's pace and I'm like mm, it's not great he's going to get absolutely blitzed by all the pace of players we could get Brandt stick him at left mid and replace Kono but do we want to do that it's it's all decisions that I need perhaps some of you with the better knowledge of these cheaper Bundesliga players than me to let me know like I do Gretzka is phenomenal there's no denying that I could get the scream last bender as well for CDM but Goretzka I kind of want to stay away from him because I've used his inform I used it for like probably close to 200 games on PC and so I just know that inside out Zuba there of course we could stick him left back but again I've used that card so much I kind of want to avoid it and want to try something else so what else I was thinking is that it's possible we're going to hybrid hybridize this out a little bit um, it is going to mean Origi's on a chem, but I am not too fussed about that. We go with Sun on the left wing, and then Musa Dembele in at central midfield, and finally Danny Rose in at left back. So what do you guys think I should do, really? Should I go for this little Spurs trio? As much as I hate Spurs, being an Arsenal fan, I will put my bitterness aside and we'll go for them, or should we look towards upgrades within the Bundesliga itself and just keep it as a Bundesliga team. Let me know what you're thinking. Uh, I'm leaning towards the Spurs, but it might not be the best idea. Anyway, I want to thank you all for watching, and if you'd love to hit that subscribe and like button, I'll give you a hug. Anyway, talk to you later.